of the things I love most about the Camelback Corridor is that even though it might be small, you never have to leave your hood to find the best of the best. So come with me. I'm going to take you to two of my favorite spots. It's Carmel's Breakfast House. Why not start the morning off with a great cup of coffee? I'm sitting here with Pat Flanagan, owner of Carmel's. Thanks for sitting with me, Pat. Heather, you're my favorite customer. Oh, well, you're very kind. Thank you, thank you. Well, this is one of my favorite spots on Camelback. Tell me a little bit about it. Well, we're local, we're independent. Uh, we make great coffee. Uh, we use the Lux coffee. And um, as far as breakfast is concerned, it's very simple, clean, fresh food. and. Um, we try to know everyone that comes through the door. What's the history of the actual structure um, that you're in? Well, the background of the building uh, dates back to the 1940s when there were residential homes here. How did you find this spot at 44th Street in Camelback? Well, your location is your greatest asset, and the exposure here is phenomenal, and this is the middle of the Camelback Corridor, and I got lucky, thank God. Yeah. Well, thanks so much for sitting down with me. I super appreciate it, and I'll see you in the morning, I'm sure. I hope so. Thanks, Heather. <laughs> okay, next stop, one of my very favorite neighborhood spots for dinner. Fire. It's Tarbell's. Meet Iron Chef winner, Mark Tarbell. Thanks, Mark. Thank you, Heather. So of all the neighborhoods in town that you could pick, why did you pick here? Well, I picked this one because I think it's just like the secret treasure. Uh, the people that live here, the convenience, the downtown events and all of that stuff, and just being around Camelback Mountain and, and uh, Piesto Wa Peak and uh, the Phoenix Mountain Preserve, it just, it has this wonderful feel, this vibe to it. I just love it. And how long have you been here in this location? 18 years. Well, I call it my kitchen away from my kitchen, so yep. I appreciate that. So how would you best explain the type of food that you serve? Well, we, we call it American seasonal and organic. So we source from all local, all the best that we can find local that's sustainable and organic. And then, of course, we go outside of that to Southern California and, and around the world for the best products that are available. We feel like it's really our job to provide the best of what we can find for people here. Okay, so favorite meal. If you had a last meal, what would that final meal be? Aside from bacon, which is yes. obvious, um, I really love roasted chicken with crispy skin and a little bit of a reduction, and then French beans, haricot vert, and there's some wonderful potato, preferably okay. cooked in duck fat. And what would you be drinking with that? Oh, I you know, white burgundy, you know, <laughs> okay. a great white burgundy, why not, you know, yeah. since I'm dreaming. That's right, <laughs> I love it. So there you have it. From sun up to sundown, those are two of my favorite spots.